Greetings, I'm Ms. Kingsley, and this video is about third grade mountain math, step five, problems three through five that I'm going to go through with you. So I'm going to switch to my document camera so that you can see the problem. Now remember the idea is you do these first, and so you should have done this before you're watching me do it, and then you can uh, see if you got it right or learn from your mistakes and get smarter. Okay, number three, write as repeated addition. So this is our problem up here, and uh, they want us to write it as repeated addition and write it the number sense. So I'm going to turn this into groups and triple groups of two. So we're going to have five groups of two, equals, and our repeated addition will add two. So we have two plus two plus two plus two plus two equals, and I think it, the easiest way to solve this is count by twos, which I think most of you know. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So we have, our answer is ten. Pretty easy one for you. Here we go on to number four, and it has write as repeated subtraction and write a number sentence, which is a division problem. So in division, we start with our total number of items first. So we're going to count them up. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So 14 goes here. I think it's a little easier to count. It's easier to count by two, so I'm going to do that. And repeated subtraction looks like this. We have 14 minus 2 equals 12. 12 minus 2 equals 10. 10 minus 2 equals 8. 8 minus 2 equals 6. 6 minus 2 equals 4. And 4 minus 2 equals 2. And lastly, 2 minus 2 equals 0. When we get to 0, we know that we're done in our repeated subtraction. Now, how many times did we subtract two? Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 14 divided by two is equal to seven. Now, we could have also seen this by counting how many groups are up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And an alternative way that would be equally correct on this would be if we had said, 14 divided by 7 is equal to some number, in which case, if you did it that way, we would have gone 14 minus 7 equals 7, 7 minus 7 equals 0, and we would have seen that there were two times we took away 7. So both answers are correct. Okay, let's go on to number 5. Number five is uh, a pretty easy one for you today. So this is fact families, and we're making four equations from this fact family up here. So first, we're going to see six times six equals 36. And this is a, a doubles fact for multiplication, so we just repeat it. And for division, we start with our largest number first, that which total number of items, which we would break apart into six groups of six. And since this is, again, um, the same number each time, we finish up like that. So that's numbers one through, sorry, that is numbers three, four, and five of Mountain Math. And that's it for today, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.